Right now, more than 100 firefighters from New Haven and the surrounding towns are all working to put out a fire going strong for more than nine hours now. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is live in New Haven with the new information from the chief and a look at this huge fire. Hector. Yeah, Kara, it may have been a clear sunny day elsewhere, but here in this Fairhaven neighborhood, a thick cloud of smoke has been covering it throughout the day. You can see that cloud right here to my left. We're on the intersection of River and Ferry Street where that fire is burning at a mixed-use building. It may be hard to tell from our vantage point, but the roof of that building has completely collapsed as well. Now, here's what New Haven Fire Chief John Elston has told us. He has told us that the fire has been burning at this intersection since just before 7 this morning. He says at one point the fire got so hot the roof collapsed, but thankfully no one was injured when that happened. Now he gave us an update around 2.30 and says at that time about 65% of the fire is contained. He says crews will be out for at least a couple more hours working to put this fire out. Now earlier today, Alston says crews noticed two people were inside the building during the fire. He says they were able to get those people out as they were suffering from smoke inhalation, but Alston says they refused treatment but are okay. He adds that more than 100 firefighters from Hamden, East Haven, West Haven, and North Haven are all assisting in putting the fire out. Chief Alston also spoke about the continued dry conditions across the state and how that's making this fire more difficult to fight. A lot of the roofs on tops of, uh, tops of the buildings are dry as well. Leaves and twigs that are trapped in gutters as well. That little bit of rain that we got was not enough. It wasn't a soaking rain. So yeah, we're still under a red flag condition. I know we just lost Hector's audio, but he was saying how he can really just see and feel the smoke in the air. We will go back to that fire, but more.